Hello everybody and welcome back. This is another new comic book day haul video. So I've got 20 books to show you. Next, or uh, six of the books are from last week. I didn't do a video last week. I only had six books. That's all I bought. So I was like, I'll just tack those on to this week's video. This week was a pretty good week. I picked up 14 books this week. So the total is 20. So first I'll show you last week's pickups from Dark Horse Comics, new series, Star Wars The High Republic Adventures. Okay, and from Antarctic Press, and this is funny, my uh, comic shop, um, when I picked these up they were like, really? And I was like, yeah, why not? From Antarctic Press, Penguina number one, and they had two copies, and I bought both of them. I was like, you know what, why not? Okay, here is The Approach from Image Comics number two, and I did enjoy number one, so I will read that one. I'll probably read it today. And I picked up from Marvel... Strange Academy Finals, number two. Two copies. And that was all of the books that I picked up last week. That's it. So let's get those out of here, and we'll move on to this week's pickups. Like I said, I got 14. And we're going to start off with one that I read. As soon as I got this home, I read it. This is Extreme X-Men, number one. And the reason why I read this, and I was excited to read this, is I'm an X -Men, I am an X-Men fan. And this is written by Chris Claremont with art by Salvador La Roca. So I wanted to read this, and I did read it, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This felt like an X-Men book to me. This felt like I got transported back to the 80s or 90s reading an X-Men title. You know, the dialogue between the characters felt like X-Men. There was um, some, some stakes. There was some, uh, some drama. There's a, a mention of a new group that was doing a mass, uh, what you call it, a, a gathering type thing. Um, and they call themselves purity, purity. They're like a hate group, basically a mutant, you know, bordering bordering on hate group is the way that it was worded in the comic. So there's like a new element there that I don't remember hearing of a group um, out in the open called purity. So I, I thought that was really cool. The way Rogue and uh, Gambit communicate back and forth took me straight back to watching the old '90s cartoon and stuff like that. So. I really enjoyed this book, and I am really looking forward to the next issue and picking it up. Okay, and that's all that I've read so far. I'm going. I, I got a lot of reading to do in the next couple of days. So here is from Image Spawn three thirty six. Okay, and it looks like I've got most, mostly Marvel, of course. This Marvel's, Marvel's about all I buy. I do have a couple of DC titles. I got Batman number 130, and just because it was out, and I normally don't do variants, but I did this variant. This is Batman 130, the Spawn Batman variant. Super cool. And how often do you get, you know, Spawn and Batman on a cover? So I decided to go ahead and buy that. Okay. And moving on to Marvel. I got a lot of Marvel. Big Marvel day. I have the Dan Slot. Mark Bagley Spider-Man series, number three. I have C-1000 
Secret Invasion number two. I picked up a copy of Tiger Division number two. Okay. I have a copy of Fantastic Four number two. And here is a super cool cover. This is Ghost Rider number nine. And that is cover A with the uh, new character exhaust on the cover. Super cool. I think that's his first cover A cover. I think he's been on some other exclusive type stuff, but not a mainstream cover. That's a really cool cover right there. I have Star Wars Hidden Empire number two. Okay, nice Darth Vader cover. I'm going to go ahead and move these up out of the way. Make some room. Okay. The Big Book of the Week. This one, I'm looking forward to reading this. So, and maybe I will, my next video, maybe I'll talk about it. This is Miles Morales Spider-Man number one, relaunched. And this is a key book already. This is the first appearance of a character named Raheen that becomes a villainous character in Miles Morales' world named Rabble, which is coming out next issue, I believe. See, I want to read this so that I get keep up on the story and what's happening. But I believe two issue number two is going to be another key, but this one is definitely key. I bought three of them. There's one, two, and three. And I know I have at least two more that I bought from mycomicshop.com that I pre-ordered months ago. So I'll have those as well. I'm hoping that I pre-ordered three, but I, I think I only pre-ordered two more. So that'll give me five altogether. And then I'm going to buy heavy on number two. And then I'll start uh, waning it down as it goes. But number two, I'll probably buy at least three copies of number two. And then you know, then I'll kind of, I'll start I'll start weaning off of it. Maybe a, a copy here and there. But I'm gonna continue buying it up and through maybe issue 15 or something like that. Every issue. Because they really need to start building out Miles Morales' world. They've kind of only been recycling Peter Parker villains. So I'm excited to see them doing something and making villains in his own world, you know, with this rabble character. And hopefully more characters start filtering in through this series. You know, so I'm hoping that, you know, Cody Ziegler is writing this and... Let's hope that uh, they do just that. And that'll be a lot of key books in the future for Miles. Here is Dark Web number one. And that is, that's it. That's my, that, that's the haul for today. Dark Web number one. But yeah, this one right here, pick that one up and pick up lots of them. Because that's going to be a big one in the future for sure. I mean, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one, the previous series number one, is worth like $100, and it's not even a key. I don't believe it has anything really key to it. This one actually is a key, so this one's going to be a big book. All right, guys, that is it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Happy reading.